Andrew Jones, Minister for Transport, thanks for joining us here at the CIHT National Conference. Now, it's all about managing uncertainties we're talking about today. And I suppose given that you've, you've put a lot of uh, long-term funding in place for national roads um, and rail, of course, I mean, do you recognise that uncertainty? Well, uncertainty is something we're just going to have to live with in a number of ways, mm. but in, we can actually control some of this uncertainty. We're trying to control the, the predictability of finance to break out of this mm. stop-start approach, which we have had for far too long in infrastructure, and it has held us back as a country, held us back in terms of the infrastructure we need mm -hmm. or the skills within the industry. But one area of uncertainty which I think we should just really embrace is uh, the opportunity presented by mm -hmm. new technology. So I actually view this as a bit of an opportunity. So what might be uncertainty really is all sorts of new ideas. Mm -hmm. Let's just take the world of automotive. We can see that now we have primarily fossil fueled cars driven by people. In some years time we could be looking at connected and autonomous vehicles powered by electric motors. Mm -hmm. Now that's an exciting opportunity for what it can present to us in terms of congestion, road safety, air quality, all the rest of it. But that journey from A to B yeah. is not that clear yet. Huge opportunities, but of course we're also hearing, and I think one of the one of the questions is put it to you very bluntly, is that you know great that we're making big impact in the national strategy, but when it comes to local roads, you know we're talking in terms of you know words like budgets are being slashed, you know everything's being cut. You know, there isn't a great deal of money out there for the maintenance of the uh, the bulk of the national road network. Well, we've provided certainty on road maintenance budgets for the next five years, mm -hmm. and with that, it's actually a huge budget yeah, too. That's for the national, national, national no, 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 on, on local road right. maintenance. Mm -hmm. In addition to the road investment strategy, okay. we're also being able to top that up with mm -hmm. new announcements as money becomes available. Mm -hmm. For example, the Pothill Fund, which the Chancellor announced only at the very end of last year. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's challenging in the world of local uh, government. But it mustn't uh, actually be forgotten that we are supporting them and trying to provide significant clarity. Oh, yeah. But you must recognise that there is that, certain, that uncertainty around when you're looking at, at fiscal devolution, you're looking at uh, business rates being, uh, being, being, being re-diverted and, and the pressure that, that local authorities are under to, to meet the needs of their, their social agenda, which perhaps takes higher priority than, than perhaps the transport network. Well, I'm not sure there's a question of one or the other. It's a question of both things probably taking priority mm -hmm. because we need to invest in our transport network. Uh, yeah. Our transport network delivers for us uh, economic growth and social progress. Yeah. So I don't view that as separate to providing social okay. budgets as well. But of course our country is uh, and has been under a financial pressure for quite some mm. time. We are still living beyond our means. Yeah. But we are providing certainty to local government. We're giving them the means to raise money as well through the, uh, the way we've changed the rules on business rates. Yeah. So I, I understand the point, but we should, I think, take a much more positive view. But it isn't just about, and this government's not just about handouts, it's about involving the private sector. Are you doing enough to bring the private sector into the sector? Well, we won't see the innovation and the delivery that we need unless we have mm -hmm. the uh, private sector really as key partners. Mm -hmm. So I view actually the whole thing as a mixture of national facilitating and locally delivering via private and public partnerships. Final question that you, you hear with the CIHT, what do you need from this sector? What do you need as a, as a minister? What do you need to, you know, the, these, these guys to do to actually raise their game to, to, to help you out? Well, the CIHT are important partners in delivering the transport network that we need. There is an enormous quantity of enthusiasm and skill in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to really capture that enthusiasm, develop those skills and make sure that uh, as innovation is, uh, is developed, created, mm -hmm. that I hear about it too. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's going on, tell me so I can actually start to share some of the good practice mm -hmm. that people are developing around the country. We won't make uh, a very strong, powerful uh, road and transport network unless we have a strong and powerful CIHT. Minister, thanks for your time this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks.